All right, now this is the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro I have here and I have got more than four days of battery life on this watch without even turning on the power saving mode. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can extend the battery life on this watch for more than four days. And I have also posted a video on all the battery saving tips for the Galaxy watches running on Wear OS. If you have missed that video, I have left a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. But in this video, I'm going to tell you a couple of tweaks or a couple of settings which can extend the battery life on this watch for more than four days without turning on the power saving mode. Before we dive in, if you are new on the channel and if you want to know your smartwatch better or if you want to know your phone better, then this is the right channel you need to subscribe to. Go ahead, smash the subscribe button. We are inching closer to 50k subscribers with your support we will be able to reach there so go ahead and smash the subscribe button now the first thing i did on the watch is turning off the race to wake feature in my opinion this consumes a lot of battery because it unnecessarily wakes up the screen every time you lift your hand unintentionally or intentionally the screen turns on and probably the sensor also will take a lot of battery to turn on the display whenever you lift your hand so turning that off really extended the battery life here to turn it off all you need to do is just go to set settings tap on display here we have an option under screen wake up raise wrist to wake you can turn this feature off and keep this touch screen to wake toggle turned on so that you can touch the screen to see the notifications or whatever content you want to see on the watch now if you scroll up a bit you will see always on display toggle here i had turned off this feature as well to extend the battery life so turning off always on display and turning off the raise to wake gesture is going to extend a lot of battery on the watch. Apart from these important things, I also did set a watch face which was dark in color. The default watch face I was using for all four days was this Pro Analog, which looks elegant. At the same time, it offers a pitch black background with the battery information, steps information, and the current date or whatever you want to set for this particular shortcut. So I have used this watch face for all four days when I was testing the battery life with these settings. Now the last thing I did was turning off the auto brightness as well. What I did was I set this brightness level to about 25% because most of the time I was using the watch indoors. So I turned off the auto brightness toggle and set the brightness level to about 25%. Now this is up to you. If you're using the watch outdoors, then you may want to keep this auto brightness turned on. So I leave it up to you. Apart from these, all the health centric features were set to manual with these settings. I could extend the battery life to more than four days on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Remember, this is the watch with the biggest battery in the Galaxy Watch lineup. And even if you don't tweak these settings, you are going to get anywhere between two and a half to three days of battery life on this watch. And if you want to extend the battery life on this watch to more than four days, go ahead and change these settings on your watch. Now, you guys let me know in the comment section, which is the watch you own and what is the kind of battery life that you're getting on your device. Do mention it in the comment section so that it can be benefit the community as well as benefit the people who are looking for buying one of these watches. While you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. The long-term review of this watch is coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that and stay subscribed. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.